Hello everyone. I am Sashikiran Reddy and I am from Bit Chennai. So I took Smart Interns Externship. So as a part of the externship, uh, I have done the project TCG, which is image-based heartbeat classification for arrhythmia detection using IBM Watson Studio, and also will be training the model in the local machine. So firstly, I'll explain the some introduction. I'll give an introduction to the project. So. According to World Health Organization, cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of the death today. So over 17.7 million people died from this uh, cardiovascular deaths in the year 2017, which is which constitute of 31% of all over deaths. So arrhythmia, uh, arrhythmia is a representative type of a CVD, a cardiovascular disease. So the main problem uh, which the people are facing or the uh, patients uh, because they are not able to detect the disease at an early stage. So uh, our uh, project objective or method is to uh, make the uh, detection easy for the people like uh, rather than going to the hospital. So what we are we have done is we'll be uh, using we'll be building a effective electrocardio uh, cardiogram which is a ECC arrhythmia classification method which is using a con uh, convolution a neural network. So it's a CNN, uh, we'll be using the CNN algorithm, which is a deep learning technique. And uh, here we'll be having totally six classes and we'll be using the two dimensional CNN with the grayscale uh, ECG images. So I'll be explaining the data set in the later part uh, in a detailed man manner. So here, if you observe, we'll be using the uh, CNN convolutional AN neural network. So here we'll be having input layer and the hidden layers and the output layer and the pixels of the image will be given as the input and the output layer will be detecting whether it's a dog, bird or cat. So in, in this case, we'll be giving the uh, uh, graph or the ECG as uh, discussed here, the graph will be given as a uh, image will be given as the input and it will be uh, classifying the arrhythmia into six classes like uh, whether it's normal or uh, uh, other cases like uh, left bound uh, blockage or something. So. This is a literature survey. So here will be uh, first, uh, this project has two parts. The first part will be doing the uh, project or running the uh, code in the local machine and the Jupyter notebook using the Anaconda Navigator. Uh, and the second part will be uh, deploying the model or saving the model using the IBM Watson Studio. So the same uh, data set will be creating two models and at the last will be creating two Flask uh, apps, uh, app deployment using Flask, uh, using Python code and uh, We'll be deploying the apps in the Anaconda Navigator. So we had used the uh, Watson Studio and Anaconda Navigator. So uh, coming to the uh, C CNN, we have to learn uh, four types of uh, layers. One is convolutional layer 2D, which is an input layer, uh, which takes the inputs, uh, which takes the, uh, uh, this is a, this is also uh, the input and the weights, uh, the dot product will be taken, uh, taken into consideration. and. Uh, uh, the layer convolves the input by moving the filters along the input vertically and horizontally. And we'll be having the pooling layer. Pooling layer is used to reduce the dimensions of the feature maps and uh, fully connected layer. Fully connected layer, uh, this uh, we can think as a output layer, like a fully connected layer transfers the weighted sum of the output of the previous layer to the activation function. And uh, finally, the dropout layer, there is usually a dropout layer before the uh, fully connected layer. So this dropout layer will temporarily disconnect some neurons from the network according to the certain probability during the training of the CNN. And uh, coming to the flowchart, uh, we'll be having data set collections. Here, uh, as I said, uh, I'll be explaining the data set. Here we have the, in the data set, totally six classes. The first one is left bundle branch block, normal, premature arterial contraction, premature ventricular contractions, right bundle branch block, ventricular fibrillation. So, I'll be showing the uh, data set. So here I created a folder. So in the data, we'll be having the test and the train data. So in the train data, we'll be having the uh, images belonging to the six uh, classes. So if we go here, so we'll be having the uh, so, uh, images. So nearly 21,000 images uh, are totally there in the uh, 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 te total test and train. So now I'll be explaining uh, how to run the CNN algorithm in the local machine, like without using the uh, watch system. So here, firstly, I have converted the file into zip folder, the data set into zip file, and I have unzipped it. 
and next here i am uh, importing all the uh, required libraries uh, from the keras uh, sequential dense convolution 2d for max pooling and patterning the layers flatten and next uh, i am uh, importing the image data generator here we'll be uh, doing all the uh, uh, rescale uh, like uh, we'll be uh, changing the features of the input image uh, according uh, so the according so that the algorithm can read it and run it so we'll be doing it according to the algorithm so here we had rescale and uh, uh, zooming and a horizontal flip will be done and next we here i am uh, taking the train data and the test data here uh, using the directory into x train and x test here if you see we have found 15000 uh, some 341 images in belong to six classes in train and 6800 in test data so here the indexes are given zero for the left bundle branch block normal and it goes on like that next now we have to build a model so in the model first we'll be giving sequential options so this sequential constructor will be uh, helping us to create a model next we'll be giving the add of convolution 2d of 32 and 3 3 input shape will be given as 64 64 3 and activation function as relu here the 3 3 is the uh, filter size and 32 is the number of filters will be giving and then we'll be doing the max pooling and we'll be decreasing the uh, uh, Filter says to two into two, and then we'll be doing that, and then we'll be flattening the layers. Here we'll be adding some dense layers. Some I am I added five I added five dense layers with the activation function as relu and the kernel initializer as random form. And next the last is the uh, the fully connected layer. Here we'll be having units as six because we have the total output uh, outputs as six. So here as we discussed here. So here we have output. So uh, when we upload an image, the model has to detect to which class it belongs to. So since we have six output uh, classes, so here we'll be giving units as six, and then activation function will be using a softmax, which uses a logistic function. And then we'll be uh, getting the model summary. Here we'll be getting the shape, the number of parameters taken into consideration. Then we'll be compiling the model uh, to save the model into the local system. We'll be using the Adam optimizer, and then the metrics will be using accuracy here I had given epochs as nine uh, uh, to train the model so here uh, i had stopped at the sixth epoch only here i got the accuracy of 0 0.949 and if you want you can continue till uh, nine. Uh, then uh, here i have given the uh, i have saved the model in the dot by format and then now we'll be testing the model here during the testing model i'm loading the model first and then i have given some unknown image uh, and I'm uh, loading that image and doing necessary changes to the image and then predicting the model uh, predicting. So here I have got output as one. So according to the index, it's the output is normal. So I have uh, the my model has predicted for the given uh, input uh, image as a normal. So now I have created a uh, model using the CNN algorithm, uh, deep learning technique, CNN deep learning technique uh, to classify the images so that we can easily know it like uh, sitting at home will be uh, uh, doing that sitting at home will be uploading the images and we can know like what's really happening now this is one part so if you observe here in the training i have given the uh, ecg and that this is the data and this is the model and this is the unknown now the second part is the ibm training so in the IBM training, what we have to do is, so we have to uh, first, we have to first create the Watson Studio and machine learning services. We have to register for it. And then uh, we have to go to the Watson Studio. So after going to the Watson Studio, we have to create a deployment space and we have to create a project. In the project, the project, Here I have created one notebook uh, named uh, CNN ECG and uh, we have to upload the data also, the unknown image and the data chip folder. And next in the notebook, we have to do the same thing as we done before in the, uh, before what we have done for the training, but uh, some changes have to be done and uh, uh, to, uh, to get the model. So here I have uh, unzipping the file in the IBM cloud and uh, doing the same thing. And finally, here I'll be getting the model ECG IPM. Then I'll be converting it into the .tgz 
uh, file and then I'll be, uh, as we are registered for the machine learning, we have to use it. And API key, we have to go to the Watson Studio and the manage section. We'll be finding the API key section. There we'll be getting the API key. And then we have to uh, do all this. Uh, here we'll be creating the uh, model. So here we'll be giving the model name. So model name and the type will be using this a TensorFlow. And then here I'll be getting saving the model. So, but we cannot find the model in the IBM uh, directories or somewhere. So we'll be doing another process for it. Here again, I'm testing the model and get the output. So to get the uh, to get this model, my model, uh, this model, I have to do something. So what I have to do is again we have to go to the local uh, Jupyter notebook and uh, Jupyter notebook and we have to do the last part same thing giving the API key and the space UID uh, which will be getting from the client dot spaces of list and then we'll be getting this uh, repository download we'll be getting some of key in the uh, uh, notebook then we'll be copy, copy pasting it then we'll be getting the my model so here if you observe uh, the here I got the dot tar file and then I have extracted the ecd dot slash ibm dot h file so after now we have got the two models. One is which we got from the local tra uh, training in the local machine, and another from this, and another one from the Watson Studio. So now what we have to do is we have to go. To, we have to do the flask uh, for the app deployment. So if you can see, we have I had already downloaded some. I have already created some HTML files for the app and uh, the necessary images. So here I am doing the. Uh, uh, return the coding for the flask app. It's all same for the uh, IBM and both, but here the model what we have loading, what we are loading is different here. So now I'll be showing you uh, one. Both are, uh, both are same, but uh, now I'll be running it in the. Uh, so after running the uh, running the model, we'll be getting the uh, URL uh, to check over. So here we have got the URL. Now we have to paste it in the box. So Now I've created this uh, app deployment. So here, this is the home page, which we'll be getting. And uh, here I have done about the card, I uh, have given some info about card activity, and this is the thank you page. And then I'll be going to the info. Here info, I have given all the details regarding this, uh, all types of classes, which we are going to uh, classify. And then giving on predict, we'll be getting the uh, uh, option to choose a, File. So now what the user will be doing is he'll be choosing a file here. So I'll be choosing this file. And I have uploaded. Now if I give predict option, it will predict and we'll be getting the result as normal. So in this way, we'll be do, so doing the same thing for the uh, IBM uh, thing, what we have done. And both are uh, same with the same template, but the model will be different. So in this way, we have created the two models using the uh, one using the uh, <coughs> using the IBM and one not in the Jupyter notebook. And then, uh, so this is about the CNN. Uh, so uh, so this CNN network, what will be using is uh, user friendly and it will be. Uh, very, uh, we can detect the arithmetic uh, disease at an early stage as the discussed before the project objective. And then it is also useful in detecting the cardiovascular disorders. So successfully we have uh, deployed the two models using the PASC. Mm, so, uh, so thank you.